you can go enjoy the evening. Okay? I think Miller's going to be handing out free Valium to any of you who need it after today. I may need some. Okay, so how do you pass this test? Stupid pathology questions anyway. Here's MGH. This is the old bullfinch wing, the ether dome. Here's the jail. Here's the St. Charles. I guess at one time they'd bring you along here. If you're a good guy, they'd put you in the hospital. If you're a bad guy, they'd put you in the jail. So read the question carefully. Back when we had, used to have this academy, you can see the old shorts and the high socks. That's back when I used to be young. Look for clues in the question. For example, is there anemia? Is there fever? Those things are in there for a reason. Everything that's in the question has gone through the process of everybody sitting around the table arguing, why did you put that in the question? If it doesn't have some applicability to the answer, it's misleading. And we don't want misleading stuff in there. So that's why it's difficult to get these questions everybody can agree on because not always can they agree on the information providing is important. So if someone has anemia, you're thinking about a marrow packing disease, for example, infection, well, or fevers, infections, inflammatory lesion, etc. Then, after you've read the question carefully, look at the imaging studies. Use the studies to guide you to differential diagnosis. Remember the questions you asked yourself. Where is the lesion? What's it doing to bone? Is it big or small? Blah, 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 blah. Subchondral so lesions we already talked about. There's a limited differential. A diaphyseal lesion might be a round cell lesion or vascular lesion. Is there mineralization present? Use all those things from your radiograph that we've talked about to guide you towards a reasonable differential diagnosis that fits with the uh, description that's been given to you. Okay? This is a gal who I did a hemipelvectomy on about 10 years ago. She's got two kids now. It's for chondral sarcoma. Got two kids, survived, and doing great. Avoid the temptation to rush to the histology pictures. I, I've seen you guys take the board exams. I've seen you guys take the in-service exam. You turn the page, you go, oh my gosh, there's histology. And you, you have total mind meltdown. Okay? Don't do that. Read the question. Take the information that's in there, circle it or underline it if it's appropriate. Then look at the Im imaging studies. Make your differential diagnosis. And then finally go to the histology. Put together a regional differential diagnosis and then go to the histology. Cosmos and Damien, you guys have heard about that. That's a discussion for over the, over the dinner table. So use the histologic information to confirm your best choice on your differential list. Then make your best choice and stick with it. Okay? Avoid the temptation to start second guessing or overthinking until you're overwhelmed. All right? So unless you have unless you have information that tells you that your answer was wrong, for example, on this patient, also noted in question 152, the answer to which was C, you now would do what as your next step? Now, that's not going to happen. But occasionally, there'll be something in the next part of the question that'll make you think, oh, yeah, I guess this is malignant. Yeah, I'll go back and change. But in general, don't second guess yourself. Okay? Stick with what you have and go with it. This is me uh, in Iraq. I spent five months in Iraq late last year and early this year. And uh, we were the ones in, in operating. These guys came in from the alarm red. That's another dinner time conversation. Oh, this is me playing with a, with a captured RPG. That was pretty cool. There's no time to, to uh, transcribe your questions later. So when you're taking the test, make your best answer, write it down. Say, okay, question 152, 152 on my answer sheet, 152. And then move on. If you don't know something, don't say, oh, I'll come back to it. Make your, take your best guess. Or fold the, 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 the uh, corner of the page back or something so you'll know you come back to it. But there's no penalty for guessing. But you don't have time to leave a bunch of them blank and then say, well, I'll get to it later. Because it really sucks when the guy says, uh, ladies and gentlemen, five minutes, the pencil down, and you've got 105 questions left to answer. That's a bad situation to be in. So don't do that. Answer them as you go along with your best guess. Okay. What's this? It's a primary trabeculum. Where are the two places I told you you're likely to see a primary trabeculum in a pathologic? OCE. What was the other one? Mm, Osteopatrosis, I hear you guys mentioned out there. Okay, I know you're right. All right, I think I've got 25 cases here or so, roughly. Young person, knee pain, night, night pain, these images, okay, on MR, plain film, MR, with that histology. All right? Now look at this. Something's going on here, doesn't look like right. Clearly diffuse involvement, bright on T2, what's this? Soft tissue mass, okay? So there's this, what's this? 
Are they, is this good or bad? It's bad. So what's the diagnosis? Yeah, that's just sarcoma. Good. All right. This one's too easy. Pain. That's all you get. Pain. Young person with pain. What's the diagnosis? All right. That's that one. Those are the gimmies. All right. Ah. Middle-aged person with vague pain, some anemia with this radiograph, this MRI, and this histopath. What's the diagnosis? So anemia, middle age, you're thinking marrow packing, looks like a round cell lesion, but look carefully what kind of round cell lesion. What's the diagnosis? This is a lymphoma. Why is this not myeloma? Because those aren't plasma cells. Why is this not infection? Because it's not a fuse, diffuse infection cells. It's also not Ewing sarcoma. This is the mixed cell population you see in lymphoma, okay? And sort of diffuse involvement, round cell lesion, okay? Now be careful. Here's a 60-year-old with low back pain and gluteal pain with this radiograph and this MR with this histology. Okay, what's the diagnosis? Multiple myeloma, good. Ah, we didn't talk about this. This is more basic science stuff. What's the diagnosis? Good, osteopetrosis. So you get this rugged jersey spine. Where do you see rugged jersey spine in an adult? Renal osteodystrophy. Renal osteodystrophy. That's a basic science thing, but remember that. I think I actually got it in your Parsons Picks things. <clears throat> okay, here's a person here with serendipitous finding of some abnormality in the pelvis diffusely, where when you get other radiographs, you've got these other bones that are involved with this histology. What's the diagnosis? Okay, what is this? Is this normal marrow here? No, it's kind of fibrovascular, all right? What's this? Osteoblastic ring. What's this? Okay, so now I just showed you the I just showed you the, the answer with the, with the histology, didn't I? What's the diagnosis? Paget's disease. Yeah. So thickened bone here, diffuse thickened involvement up in here, thickening of the bone here. All right. With this histology, Paget's disease. This is an easy one. Doctor, I have a middle-aged person with an asymptomatic lump in their arm. What's the diagnosis? Lipoma, right? Good. Intramuscular lipoma. Excellent. Ah, 45-year-old, progressive mass in the thigh, painful, who finally comes in because he's having problems putting his pant leg on and he's embarrassed with this photomic. What's the diagnosis? Good. Liposarcoma. Remember, there's a fatty tissue here, but it's not normal. It doesn't follow fat signals. Good. Liposarcoma. 65-year-old with a big mass in the thigh, which is very painful, and the person is having some pulmonary symptoms and, uh, and maybe even some mild fever associated with this. Big soft tissue mass. What's the diagnosis? It's an old person, so what are you going to guess in an old person? MFH. Okay, did I confuse somebody? Somebody ticked off about that? Is that okay? Okay, good. Sorry. I got, I got some of these, like, if I could be dead, these laser beam looks. Sorry. Okay, young person, skeletally mature, diaphyseal lesion, this changes here, pain and a, and a fullness in the calf with this histology. What's the diagnosis? Okay, I heard clearly Ewing's. Good. You'll see one of those. We didn't talk about this. This is a basic diet thing, science thing. Long grass hall bones, multiple fractures, been treated with pins this time with some heterotopic ossification. What's the diagnosis? It's a basic science thing. So it's what? OI. Good. Th calf pain associated with activity with this MR sequence and this histology. What's the diagnosis? Hemangioma. Good. Remember T1? There it is. On T2 it's bright. All right. And a little bit of mineralization there. Hemangioma. Low back pain, buttock pain in a middle-aged person with this imaging and that histology. 
What's the diagnosis? Okay, is it a round cell lesion? No, it's not myeloma. What is this? It's a giant cell tumor, right? Okay, good. Sacrum midline, giant cell tumor. Uh, we didn't talk about this either, but it's, this, is, this is painless. What is this? Osteopoikolosis, poikes, good. What's this? Melareostosis. Now, these can be painful. There's not a lot you can do for them. Sometimes you can, you can resect the bone if it's expendable or ream it if it's intermed intermedullary. Ah, 62-year-old, horrible shoulder pain, minimal shoulder motion, um, mild neurologic symptoms in the hand with this imaging studies, plain film, CT, MR, and this histopath. What's the diagnosis? Is this a lesion of bone or soft tissue? It's bone. What does this look like? Does that look chondroid to you? Good. All right, good. Chondrosarcoma. Young person, soft tissue mass in the thigh, totally asymptomatic except for the mass. This histology, what is it? Soft tissue mass, Look, notice this. This helps you. What's, what's this? There, nuclear palisading, good, neurolimoma. Wrist pain, this radiograph, this is an easy one. What is it? Giant cell tumor, good. You'll definitely see giant cells, you'll definitely see osteosarcoma. These are all examples of, uh, of previous questions. Now, pay attention to this one, please. Young person, pain in the back. Destructive lesion seen on CT, and here is MR, dark on T1, bright on T2, and here's the bone scan. This is a histopath. What's the diagnosis? Use every clue that's up there to give a diagnosis. Is this good or bad? Okay, it's bad. All right, there's some ugly looking cells here. What's all this stuff here? It's osteoid, right? Lacey osteoid. What's missing there? I'm telling you, I'm serious. Lose all, use all your clues. They're there for a reason. So this person had an amputation for osteosarcoma. She's got metastatic osteosarcoma. So here's an osteosarcoma with this histology to the pelvis. All right? What's this? This is easy. Yeah, I hear everybody screaming par osteo. Yeah, that's exactly right. Ah, 65-year-old smoker with shoulder pain. Plain film, CT, notice the soft tissue density in that hot on bone scan. This histopath, what's the diagnosis? It's a MET, all right? These, these glandular-looking cells are epithelial-looking cells. They don't belong there. What's this? Young kid, this radiograph, is an infant, this radiograph, this lesion histopath. What's the diagnosis? Neuroblastoma, metastatic neuroblastoma. Here's, the, here's the, um, these uh, rosettes. Now remember, usually, and the, 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 usually this question is associated with a CT scan or, or a bone scan that shows you a mass or something on the belly. But I thought that was too easy to show you on this one, all right? Round cell lesion in an infant with those um, rosettes, it's a neuroblastoma. This is a little bit harder one. Pay attention to it. So here's a 30-year-old with pain around the buttock with this soft tissue mass on this MRI. It's been getting slowly larger and clearly more painful. It started off two or three years ago smaller, and now two or three years later it's larger and more painful with this, with this histopath. What's the diagnosis? Now, I gave you in a history information that even if you don't know what this is, Thigh lesion or buttock lesion in a young person that's been there for a while, a couple of years, slowly getting bigger, now it's symptomatic. What's that going to be statistically? Synovial cell. Well, that's exactly right. That's what this is, synovial cell. So here's the, here's the more epithelioid cells here, and there's some more spindle cells. This is an example of, an, of a question. Okay? Here is a serendipitously found lesion, plain film, CT, and here's the histopath. Be careful now. Serendipitously found. What's the diagnosis? Is this good or bad? Okay, it's not malignant. These are giant cells. All right, what are these dark spots here? Hemocytorin. Eccentric, well demarcated. What is this? It's a big NOF. These are actual questions. 
and OF. All right. What's this? 55-year-old, excruciating hip pain, awakens from sleep at night, worse when he walks on it, no fevers, no history of trauma, this plain film, this bone scan, this MRI, and this histopath. What's the diagnosis? Good, chondrosarcoma. Notice soft tissue mass coming outside in this periacetabular area. Good, chondrosarcoma. What's this? Serendipitous fine, young person, this radiograph, this histopath, what's the diagnosis? Enchondroma, good. What's this? I don't have to give you any history. It's an OC. You sure? Is it parosteal? No. Is it MOT? No. OC, that was too easy. Ah. Knee pain, swelling, no history of trauma, 35-year-old who comes to see you, this radiograph, this MRI. Notice there's a mixed signal on this. Here's the histopath. What's the diagnosis? PVNS, good. This one here, proximal femoral lesion, pain with weight-bearing activities. Here's the histopath. What's the diagnosis? Good, fibrous dysplasia. You guys are rocking. Proximal humeral lesion, 18-year-old, hot on bone scan, night pain, pain with, with shoulder of the motion. Hit this histopath. What's the diagnosis? Osteosarcoma, good. Proximal tibial lesion, painful, been there, had pain for two years, seen multiple doc doctors. This MR shows this lesion here, and here's the pathognomonic histopath. What's this diagnosis? Chondroblastoma, good. Big chondroblastoma. Young person, serendipitous find after complaining of a fall with this expansile lesion of the proximal humerus. Abuts the physis. Here's the histopath. What's the diagnosis? Simple cyst. Simple cyst. Okay? Simple cyst. Proximal humeral, excuse me, proximal femoral lesion with this plain film, this MR. Notice these with this histopath. What's the diagnosis? ABC. Large proximal tibial lesion with this histopath. This is a tough one, but this was actually one of the questions, so I put this in here. What is this? Eccentric, destructive. It's not a non-ossifying fibroma, clearly, but this is the histopath. I heard somebody say it. Oh, yeah, I heard a bunch of you say it. Excellent, CMF. Remember, proximal tibia eccentric with the uh, giant cells, mixoid background, some more stellate cells. This is not be the one that I would chose for the histopath, but this is one that was chosen for that particular, particular case review. Knee pain with activity, 25-year-old. This plain film, this histopath, this MR. What's the diagnosis? Is this a soft tissue t tumor? Is it, a, is it a, something that's with a bone, or is it an, artic an intraarticular thing? Looks intraarticular, right? What's the diagnosis? Sternochondromatosis. Good. That's it. You've been a great audience. You do fantastic on your test. Thank you very much. Have a great dinner. I'll be glad to entertain any questions if you still have your, your questions about your...